Hi everyone, welcome back to Chica Books. Today we are going to read along with the book, The Girl with the Mind for Mouth, the story of Raymond Tag. If there's something you want, but it seems out of reach, here's a story for you, a great truth it will teach. When you focus your mind, you'll succeed through and through like one bold engineer, but a name on tag. In a state we call Arkansas, one winter day, a baby was welcomed, a girl they called Ray. She was bright as a star, super smart from the start. She was headstrong, this child, and not faint of heart. Yes, this girl had potential. Her granddad was proud. He told her, Work hard, you'll stand up from the crowd. Then something she cherished when Ray was just seven. He took her to see her first ship. It was heaven. A real submarine, her eyes open wide. Who made it? She asked as they followed the guide. Engineers, said the man, giving Ray's head a pat. But my dear, you don't need to know all about that. At a time, the man's insult went over her head. No, you can't, were the words he had meant, but not said. Engineering, thought Ray, and her live stream began, except most people laugh when she told them her plan. Stay strong, said her mom. Use your brains, you'll be fine. There will always be people who pay you no mind. Just because you're a girl and because you're black, don't let them or the state of your school hold you back. You see, in those days, we're was called segregated. The black and white students are kept separated. That's wrong, you exclaim. It was dismissal. This dismal, no fooling. And worst of all, white kids receive better schooling. But Ray studied hard. She had grit, thought herself. She was gifted in math and read books by the shelves. When the time came for college, she knew what to choose. She'd learned to build boats and she'd got some bad news. Engineering's not taught to black students, they said. Her heart hit the floor. I'll take business instead. She'll learn what she could and she'll learn to rest later. The rules were unjust, but the school wouldn't break her. Ray finished with honors. Oh boy, what is Marty? She said her farewells. There was no time to party. I'm off to a place filled with history's greats, the capital city of all 50 states. Now finding a job? It turned out that took time. She looked and she looked. Ray was not one to whine, but it must have been fate. At least that's what it seems. She was hired to type where they build submarines. The Navy, that's right. Oh, but hold on, cheers. She designing was only for trained engineers. So she watches their work and she learned every task even study computers but night in a class. Then her big break arrived. The whole staff got the flu. Ray did all of her work and the engineers too. Her boss was in shock. How? He exploded. From memory, said Ray, and with that got promoted. Life should be been swell, yet that wasn't the case. Her boss treated her poorly because of her race. Many people like him tried to make her feel small. Ray just held her head high and she outworked them all. What next? From the White House, they came a command. The president ordered a ship, make it grand. And quickly he added, well, but didn't fly. All those plans would take engineers months to supply. Here's the thing about that. When designing a boat, there are thousands of measurements one need to know. All those numbers take math, and that takes some time. 
Ah, but Ray have been working on something sublime. She took a deep breath. I can solve this, she said. I've come up with a system to do it instead. It'll draw the plans faster, she told them. Don't fret. I'll design the first ship by computer, no sweat. How long do you think that might take? What's your guess? Would it take a month? Maybe weeks to six, for, six, for success? Well, it took calculations and tons of caffeine. But Ray finished in hours, just over 18. Her program, it worked. All the blueprints were done. The ship was constructed. The engineers stunned. You did it, they cheered, and her boss had to say. Then her quick mind for math had, in fact, saved the day. The end, no, not quite. When Ray's ship was unveiled, only a white man could go. And Ray's in invite, not mailed. Say what? You hear right. No invite. Ugh, horrible. In fact, some might say it was downright deplorable. Yet, Rick kept her cool, gave her best every day. And in time, all her skills were applauded. Hooray! People learned of her work. Who's this Ray, they demand. When they met her, they stared. They expected a man. Yes, that happened a lot. Many could not believe that a woman of color did all she'd achieved. Some even thought Ray was a maid, sad but true. When they ordered a drink, she said, bring me one too. All her rumors and wit served her well through the years as she battled the hard times with laughs and not tears. And that boss in no Navy who'd been so unkind made Ray the first woman to lead ship design. Her honors would follow, her fame picked up steam, and finally, at last, she accomplished her dream. The title should work for an engineer scored. Now the world knows her feats. She is hidden no more. Raymond Tag, an engineer. So the lesson to all is don't ever give in. Take a chance, rock the boat. If it sinks, you can swim. When the storm comes your way, hold your course and don't stress. Never quit and like Ray, propel straight to success. A letter from Ray Montag. Dear readers, if you have a dream like I did, study hard and stay focused. Always remember that just because someone says you can't, that doesn't have to stop you. You might have to go in a different direction and it might take you a little longer, but you can achieve your dreams. Hope you liked this story. See you next time.